last lesson for the inequality that now this time we are going to draw the inequalities so in terms of the graph we deal with the graphing linear equations what can you remember about this the most important thing is the standard form of a linear equation that was y equal mx plus c right that m is a gradient and then c is a uh, y intercept then next one is we graph the simultaneous equation how did we use the graph to solve the simultaneous equations so you've got a two set of the linear equations then that means you've got a two line graphs then the point where the two graphs meet the intersection of the point will be the answer for the simultaneous equation right the last thing we will deal with is the inequalities then let's see how we use a graph to solve the inequalities this is the steps for the graphing inequalities. So step one is always start by the standard form of the linear equation y equal mx plus c. Then now what you need to do is change the inequality symbol into the equality symbol because we need to draw the graph. That now you graph the linear equation at the same time you graph the boundary lines. Then finally we shade the one of the region of the equation so if you don't understand it don't worry let's do it one by one with me so step one is always start by the standard form of the linear equation so since we've got a two inequalities that what we need to do is change this into the standard form that is y equals something right let's put the minus y is less than minus x plus 2 right then now let's times by minus one then you remember you must reverse the symbol then y is a greater than x minus two so this is a standard form right then now let's move on to the next inequality then again y is something right so y is greater than four minus two x then let's let's reorder these terms then we can clearly see our standard form then final one is y is a greater and equal to minus 2x plus 4 then now we've done our first step so step two is what was the step two it was just simply change the inequalities symbol into the equal sign that means y equal x minus 2 then y equal minus 2x plus 4 because it's easier to draw the line just draw the graph so now step 3 is the so graph the equations and the boundary lines look so we've got a equation at the same time inequalities so then let's focus on drawing the linear equation first then now when it comes to the graphing the boundary lines we've got a dotted line and we've got a solid line that when it comes to the less than or greater than we must use a dotted line because the value is not included and then since we've got a greater than equal to symbol and less than equal to symbol that means your value is included that's why we must use the solid line if you don't get it don't worry let's have a look so first of all i'm going to draw just the linear equation y equal x minus 2 so the this will be very good at drawing linear equation right so it begins with the y intercept and then your gradient is a one that means one right one up then just connect them together but be careful when you draw the line just check your symbol you can't see the equal sign that means you must have a dotted line that's all right then let's have a look at the another linear equation y equal minus 2x plus 4 again begins with your y intercept 4 then now your gradient is minus 2 so shall we move on to the left yeah one left two up then you've got another line let's connect them together but this time can you see the equal to sign yes that means you carry on with the solid line then this is the end of the graphing the equation that's a step three then step four is now we need to shade the region so first of all 
let's go back to our inequality so look at this one you need to choose the one of the side of the region so now this one the y value is a greater than the graph or less than the graph so it's greater than that means you need to change the region that is above the line right then now let's move on to the next one got a straight line graph now thinking about it your y is less than or more than if it's a less than just shade the shade the region that is below the line if it's more than you always shade the region that is above the line so let's shade the region that above the line then now so the solution for the x must be the truth for the first inequality and also true for the second inequality that means we need to find the regions that is a boost for the inequality can you see the region i'm going to show the region that is boost for the inequality so now these are the answer for the both inequalities right so we've got a two inequalities and we need to find the uh, values that are true for both of inequality by using the graph so thinking about the steps for the drawing graph step one is making this into the standard form of a linear equation and let's put y one side the other side minus x plus a then let's do the the other inequality minus y is less than 2 minus x then since we've got a minus that less times minus 1 that what will happen we reverse the symbol that's x minus 2 right then now step 2 is let's change the inequality sign symbol into the equal sign so that we have a perfect linear equations that what we need to do is step 3 is we need to draw the graph then thinking about the boundary lines so first of all y equal minus x plus a so begins with the y intercept that's 8 then now your gradient is a minus 1 that means 1 left 1 up then now before you draw the solid line or dotted line always go back to your symbol that it has got equal to sign that means you must draw it with the solid line great now let's draw the second inequality that's the equation in y equal x minus 2 so minus 2 then your gradient is a 1 1 right 1 up then let's connect them together before doing that have a look at your symbol that's the yes it doesn't have a equal to sign that means it must be the dotted lines let's draw the dotted line then we're done with our graph the last step we need to do is the shading the region so have a look at your symbol inequality symbol then this one is your y is greater than the graph so it begins with the graph is it upward or downward since it's a greater than so we need to shade all the reasons above the line then your second inequality is, have a look at it this is your graph then y is also same it's a greater than the graph so it's downward upward definitely upward right all the values above the graph will be the true for the equation that can you see the common regions so i'm going to show you that this little region is answer for both equations so all the values inside the yellow region will be true for the first and second inequality let's try some questions linking to the graph let's have a look at this one so here on the grid so you need to mark with the cross each of the points with the intense the coordinates that are in the region defined by so now this time you can see three inequalities but luckily they already drew all the straight lines so now let's have a look at this so since we've got a equation let's match the inequality with the right graph then now 
Oh, then as we can see, we've got a one of missing in equality. That is x is greater than three. Then what we need to do is we quickly draw it. It's easy, right? So let's think about what is x equal three. That is regardless of the y or the value of x is a 3. So this vertical line is a x equals 3. So now all we need to do is the find the right region, then the shade is. So let's have a look at this. Then we need to, first of all, we need to match the equations into the inequalities. First of all, y is greater than x minus 2, then you need to have a look at the y equal x minus 2. Now your symbol is a greater than, so your values will be greater than y equal x minus 2 or less than x minus 2, so it must be the upward. So let's shade the upward part region. Then now next graph is x plus y is less than 10. Then have a look at the graph. That now thinking about it, you need to change this into standard forms to see that y is bigger or smaller. So here, y is less than minus x plus 10. So that we need to think about it's less than, so we need to shade downward of the graph, right? Then now finally, we've got a x is greater than 3. Then, so now this time you need to focus on the x, right? That x is uh, bigger or smaller? It's, it's bigger than 3. That's why you need to shade all the uh, reasons that to the right side of the graph. Then can you see the common reason? Then what we need to do is we need to cross the region. So let's see the, all the area that is uh, true for all three inequality is this small triangle section then let's write let's cross it as an x this is the answer for our question so now next question now you need to look at the graph then you need to move back to finding your inequalities so now write down all the inequalities that define the shade region so to solve this question you must finding out the equation first so first of all i can draw the graph right so you you need to come up with the four equations. First one is, we can say, this is the x equal minus 2. Then second line, you can see x equal 4. Then now you can see the horizontal lines, right? That is, this can be y equal 3. Then the other horizontal line is y equal 1. Then now let's show them into the inequalities so i'm just going to numbering them then first one is so since you've got a y and minus two then thinking about it your x since you've got x and minus two then thinking about it your x is greater than minus two or less than minus two so it's greater than minus two but be careful since this line is a solid line you need to Put the equal to sign as well so it's x is greater or equal to minus 2 then second equation you've got x and 4 thinking about it your x is greater or less than 4 so it's less than 4 now always draw the equal to sign since you see the solid line so x is less than or equal to 4 then third one, we've got a y and 1. Thinking about it, your shaded region is up to the line or down to the line? It's up to the line. So now you can say y is a greater than or equal to 1. Last one, y and 3. Is it upward or downward? So shaded, shaded region is downward. That's why it's y is a less than or equal to 3. This is the answer. Now, this is our last question that we need to find the reason that are true for all the three inequalities. So, now what we need to do is we need to draw the linear equation first. So, x equal 1. Let's draw the x equal 1. So, that is uh, regardless of y, your x is always 1. So, can you see the horizontal line? That y equal 2 is 
vertical line then let's change this into the standard form then y is greater than minus x plus 5 so that is y equal minus 6 plus 5 graph let's draw it here y intercept is a 5 then gradient is minus so let's do uh, 1 right 1 down then let's connect them together then now this is our graph but remember since everything is a greater or equal to so we got all solid lines here right that now let's find our region then the first one x is greater than one so that means we need to shade by side of the graph right it's greater then now y equal to let's have a look at the y equal to graph then y is a greater that's why it's upwards right so just shade the, all the regions that regions above the graph then finally this the purple graph your y is greater than minus x plus 5 that's why also we need to shade all the regions that are above the line graph then can you see the common reason then we need to find the, all the reason that is shaded by the red and then blue and purple lines then these are the true for all three inequalities let's write down as a r then this is answer for the question well done this is the end of the inequality topic so we've been talking about the inequalities and we solve the inequality and the compound inequalities and then finally we drew the graph right so just remember the important thing is when you times divide by the negative number you must reverse your symbols and then when you draw the graph so when you have a less than and more than sign it must be the dotted line and you've got an equal sign as well they must be the solid line so these are the important point about the inequalities so as always practice make you better and then i will see you with the new topics bye bye